you can see me from here, right? <laughs> so I just want to just real briefly tell you what we divert, and I'm going to give you numbers from last year about how much. This year looks like about the same amount of funding that we um, will be getting in. So cardboard is one of our main things, of course. Uh, last year we recycled 481 tons of cardboard. It goes to Republic Paperboard in Lawton, Oklahoma. And they make sheetrock out of it. So it goes to the line of paper under sheetrock. Um, paper, last year we um, recycled 108 tons of paper. So the office paper goes to GP Harmon in Muskogee, Oklahoma, and they make tissue paper out of that. Uh, the newspaper goes to Applegate Insulation right here in Colorado, in Penrose, Colorado. Glass, we, last year we uh, recycled 24 tons of glass. And that goes to Southeast and East Central. They come and service our glass for us. Thank you. Um, metals, we accept all types of metals. Our steel goes locally here to Lahana Metals and recycling. And then eventually that goes to the Pueblo Steel Mill and they make rails out of that, the steel mill. The other metals, uh, aluminum, copper, brass, uh, we send that to Trinidad, the metal recycler in Trinidad. Plastics, last year we recycled 62 tons of plastic. We accept pretty much all bottles, jars, jugs, jugs tubs, and buckets. Uh, and those will be your number ones, twos, and fives. The number ones, the polyethylene paraphthalate, that will go to Somersville, Georgia. They make carpet out of that. And the HDPE, the number two HDPE, the number five polypropylene, that goes to Denver to uh, direct polymers. Adam Elder in Denver. Uh, we also, see as far as plastic goes, we need PVC pipe for the farmers too. Um, and direct polymers will accept that too from us. Paint, we, we have a contract with Paint Care. Uh, so we accept all paint. Uh, the good paint we try to keep locally and <coughs> get that out to local folks. The bad paint, Paint Care provides transportation and disposal through clean harbors for that. So that's a great, that's a great help to us to have Paint Care, be part of Paint Care. Electronics, we recycled 44 tons of electronics last year. We accept pretty much all electronics and pretty much anything that plugs in too. So appliances, we accept all appliances except for Freon. So we don't have somebody certified to remove the Freon. Um, the CRTs, the old tube style TVs and monitors, that will get shipped to Peoria, Illinois, and uh, those get recycled there. And what I understand is they encapsulate that uh, lead in the glass so that it's not leachable anymore, and then they make tile or glass ball out of that. Um, all the other electronics are shipped to 3R Technologies in Commerce City and they disassemble those there, and, and there's more downstream users uh, from that. Uh, those are the main things that we collect. Uh, like I mentioned, PVC, we have a couple programs that we started just for the farmers. Uh, we accept <coughs> chemical jugs, they have to be triple rounds, lids and labels off, and the PVC pipe. Uh, to tell you the truth, we don't have a lot of participation <coughs> from the farmers on that. We get some in, but I expected it to be a lot more. Um, we accept it for free, we don't charge anything. <coughs> um, and the other material is the cartons. Uh, we get, so by cartons, uh, I'm talking about the shelf stable and the refrigerator cartons, mm -hmm. like um, like chicken broth and almond milk, those the wax kind of cartons. The wax paper. Yeah. Um, those, we accept them, we bail them up, uh, but we've received no money for those, and we have to transport them to Colorado Springs for recycling. So it's really a negative value for us, but we, it's a good service for the community, and more and more people are using those cartons, I think. And they're very recyclable. So I'd like to start something with cartons. Let's talk about, let's talk about <laughs> cartons. Talk about, like, some of the other questions you talked about. Could you give a nod to your reclaimed building operation? Oh yeah, so we do have a reclaimed building materials section. So anything, and the key word there, it has to be reusable. And because our warehouse has bats and mice in it, we don't accept anything upholstered either. But like old furniture, uh, doors, windows, electrical supplies, plumbing supplies, what else? Those in there. 
<clears throat> household goods. I mean, see, I mean, music, music yeah. furniture, glass, glassware. I mean, weird stuff. And, and actually, in. the supplement tubs. We accept those. We don't turn any supplement tubs away. So you can refer to your ranchers to bring us your supplement tubs. They have to take them first. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and actually, we do have some of those totes that you're referring to too. Because um, we receive some materials in those codes and, and people buy them. The shuttle, the shuttle. The shuttle. Yeah. 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 So we get some quantity that there is out there. What's that? There's a lot more quantity than what you're seeing. I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, when you see one farmer get like 10 of those in, in one load. Yeah. That's. Um, as far as the recycling rate around here, can I? Talk about that. Recycling rate? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I program in one hundred swing in Rocky Ford and about eight percent of households are signed up with that program. But of course we know there's a whole lot more recycling going on than that. So I I guesstimate that the recycling rate around here is somewhere between fifteen to twenty percent. Great. So put you a little bit ahead of the state average. <laughs> That it's is a big guess. Base, but based on the drop site network, you're too much. What and else is great? And we did twine. I mean, you might mention that yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. There was a twine program, and for a while we were accepted. Uh, but grant money ran out for that. It was funded with grant money. Yeah. Was it dirty? Was it really dirty? It was, it was very dirty. dirty. We would be cleaning that twine, and we would go home with <laughs> dust. Manure dust. <laughs> oh, even better. Even yeah. better, right? Yeah. So, well, um, when you're taking off the bales, because I help do that, you can't. It doesn't. The stuff doesn't come off.